How to increase your income, especially if you are living paycheck to paycheck, right? Hi guys, my name is Jan. I'm the founder of The Present, where we discuss business, finance, and life-related matters. And in this video, I'm going to share my answer towards a question coming from Danny St. Clair. It's a really good name. It's, it's like a name in the series or Netflix series or in the movies. And he asked the question, how to increase your income, especially to those people who are living paycheck to paycheck. Now, to give you a little bit of an idea what that means, is basically if you are working for a living and you are an employee, you earn money and then you use that money to pay for something, right? It may be for your food, for your shelter, whatever that may be, and then it becomes like a cycle, okay? And for Robert Kiyosaki, if you know who he is, he's the author of Rob, uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, it is what he called the rat race, okay? Because it becomes like a cycle. And so I'm going to share my answer in this part because I was somehow living paycheck to paycheck when I was an employee for six years more, six years or like turning seven years. And I currently have two businesses, two businesses that we're running right now, okay? And this is what I did in the past when I was still an employee and I would like to share that with you right now as to what I did. Maybe it could be also be helpful for you, okay? Now, before, before we go to the tactics or the strategies that you can do right away, it would be better if you understand the mindset first, right? Because the truth is, the strategies that we're going to share to you, the tips that we're going to share to you, are very simple to understand. However, it's quite difficult to do. And the reason behind it is that you need to have a bigger purpose or mindset behind it in order for you to say, if, in order for you to drive yourself to do those things that you want to achieve, right? There is a reason why you're asking yourself why you want to increase your income. Maybe it's because you don't see it, um, you find it a little bit small, maybe, your paycheck, or maybe you have seen other people earning more money, or maybe you have dreams. So according to your calculation, it's not going to be possible for you to achieve those dreams if you just live paycheck to paycheck, right? And... That is why you already have the intention, the motivation to do it. So I would like to add more to that by giving you some mindset, right? So the first one is what we call, you don't deserve what you want, you deserve what you do, okay? So a lot of us, we want to achieve a certain thing. We have goals in life, we have dreams that we want to achieve. However, if we just dream about it, if we just think about it, it does not automatically mean that it's going to happen to your life. You have to do something about it in order for you to achieve it, okay? So, however, some people, or should I say majority of the people, they just dream and think about the things that they want to happen in their life. They're not really working towards it, okay? They say that they want to have a business, but the actions that they're doing right now is not related or connected towards that, okay? So let me just give you some, a little bit of an illustration that you're seeing right now on your screen. So imagine this is you, okay? This person is you, and then you go to a job, right? It may be an office job or accounting or lawyer or construction or whatsoever. Imagine that you have a job, okay? And what ends up happening is that since, be, since you have a job, you are earning money, okay? So this becomes a cycle. Right? You wake up, you go to your work, you earn money, and then you do the same thing all over again. Right? Now guys, here's the thing. If this is the lifestyle that you have right now and you're not doing anything about it after or during your free time or your unproductive hours, then expect nothing good is going to happen to you anymore. Okay? Because you're not maximizing your time, you're not doing anything on the moments or during the moments that you can do something out of it. Like you can start your side hustle, you can do your own business or whatsoever. So that is why it's kind of annoying for some people to just think and aspire to things to, for things to happen in their lives, but they're not really doing anything about it. It's so weird, right? So we need to break that mindset that even the law of attraction, okay, which means that you think about it and then I'm not even, I'm not, saying that it's bad. It's good to dream, okay? It's good to have goals and vision in your life. However, the point is you have to take one step further by taking the action of working, of working towards it. Are you getting it so far? So you have to think 
we all have to think, including me, that whatever it is that we want to happen in our lives, we need to do something about it because we deserve what we do. The actions, the results that we are receiving is coming from our actions. Are you getting it? Which brings me to mindset number two, okay? Is that we need to be productive during your free time, right? You need to be productive during your free time. If you're the type of person who wants to increase your income because you're tired of living paycheck to paycheck or you're living in a rat race, like, right? So you need, to fu- you need to think of ways of converting your free hours, okay, into something productive, okay? You may be thinking about it. You may have some side hustles. You may be working in the, in the morning. You have your dinner, and after you eat your dinner, you're going to do something afterwards and not just playing games or watching Netflix. You're really doing something. However, guys, this is what people are usually doing right now. So once again, in your screen, you can see that it's a clear illustration. Imagine this is you, and you have time. We all have 24 hours in a day, and let's just say that you're sleeping 8 hours in a day. So that means you have 16 hours for you to do something, right? It may be for your work, for your family time, or whatsoever, leisure time. But the point is you have 24 hours a day, and 8 hours of that which is one-third of it goes to sleep, okay? So you still have 16 hours a day. However, most of us, during our free time, what do we do? We play games, especially especially right now that games are highly accessible. Like, you can play games on your computer, you can play games on a console gaming like PS5 or Nintendo Switch, or even on your laptop, or in this case, you can also play games on your mobile phone, okay? So... What you're doing is that during your free hours, you are using that for leisure. You are losing, you're using that for your entertainment. So the problem with that is that it's not generating you any income. Now, I'm not saying it's bad. It's good to have leisure time. It's good to have like um, some sort of a break, right, from all the real-world situations that's happening in our life. However, If you have the motivation, if you want to do something even bigger in your life, okay, you're tired of your boss or you don't like your job but you're complaining about it but you're not doing anything about it, once again, you deserve what you do. And so this is how majority of the people in the world are living their life. They don't like their job. Most of them don't like their job. But after they clock out at 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. or whatsoever, they eat dinner, and then they play or do something fun so that to escape the real world. That's the current situation that's usually happening. What if let's try to change our mindset towards it, like instead of us entertaining ourselves so that we can quote-unquote escape the real world for the next three to four hours, how about we, cre- we still embrace the real world by doing something that we like, by doing something that we are passionate about, however it can generate revenue. Okay, so that when the time comes that you want to leave your job, you already have a plan B because you already work towards it when, during your free time. Right? So imagine this is another situation. So you have 16 hours in a day, you go 8 hours a day for your sleep, 8 hours a day for your work, so that means you have 8 hours extra. So let's just say you spend around 3 hours for your um, meals, transportation time, so that leaves you with 5 hours remaining. The 5 hours remaining, what you can do is you can have a side hustle, right? Especially right now that there are online jobs available, all you need to have is a computer and an internet connection. So what ends up happening is that because you spend five hours a day, right, or four hours a day to generate more revenue, that's one of the ways that you can generate more income. So you are converting your unproductive hours into productive hours. This is actually what I did way back, right? In February 2018, we started the business The Present in this channel. This, this is the channel. On Facebook, we are also active on Instagram, YouTube, and now we're exploring TikTok. Right? So what before I was actually an employee. The present was a side hustle. But eventually, as I was doing it together with my wife, 
back then she was my girlfriend, now she's my wife. So after a few months or years even, it blew up. Then we got clients, a lot of people are watching our videos, especially on Facebook, and that became a full-time business. But where did it start? It's a side hustle. So during holidays, during my free time, or during like weekends, that's what I did. Instead of entertaining myself, what I did was to work in my business. Get it? So that's mindset number two. You have to change your mind that instead of wasting the free hours that you have, you can convert it into something productive. Which brings us to mindset number three, okay? Invest in yourself and growth funds. This is another approach that you can do, uh, meaning to say that instead of you just working, you can also educate yourself so that you can, you can think what you can invest in so that eventually you will have a growth fund and that becomes your retirement account, okay? So it's the same thing. You have eight hours a day for your sleep, eight hours a day for your work, and then you still have additional eight hours. So that's going to be used for your education, right? You watch YouTube videos, you go through an online course, or uh, you, you research Google, right? You research about the stock market, and then what you're going to do is every month, you're going to set aside a certain amount so that you can invest in the stock market or so on and so forth just for you to have a growth fund. Right? And eventually, that investment of yours will convert into money if you're doing it right. Okay? But the best investment platform of all, guys, there are a lot of investments that you can, you can actually choose from. We have the real estate, business, stock market, mutual funds, ETFs, cryptocurrency, and whatsoever. But the best investment of them all is actually investing in yourself. Okay? This is not a cliche. That's just the truth. Because imagine you have a car, but you don't know how to drive. So it's the same thing. The investment platforms, imagine they, they are the vehicles, but you are the driver. You are the decision maker whether or not you're going to buy or sell right now. Okay? So that is why investing in your education, your financial education, in your business education is very important. Especially if you have the motivation and the drive to increase your income. Okay? That being said, just want to invite you that this coming February 27, 7.30 p.m. PHT, Philippine time. This is 2021, by the way. Maybe you're watching this on 2022. Um, we have a webinar. We have been invited by July 2. This is also a company. And the topic that I'm going to share is how to make money with your skills in 2021. As you can see here on your screen, there are also, there's also a chance for you to win the following prizes. And uh, all you have to do is show up during the event and participate, and maybe you will be one of the winners. So you will, you will have the chance to win a prize at the same time you're also learning, all right? So I'm excited to be part of that event, so I'm, I'm just inviting you. Maybe it's going to be beneficial for you. It's going to increase the ideas that you have so that you will increase your income, okay? Now, moving on. Now that we understand the mindset, the three mindsets that we just mentioned to you guys, we would also like to give you tips and practical strategies that you can do right away in order for you to generate faster income, right? The first one is you can sell a product, okay? Sell a product that, that may be yours, it may be of someone else's. So back then, uh, just going to share to you one of the stories that I really, really like. So my sister, had a Bluetooth speaker, which is Bose. It's a, it's a good speaker. And uh, she was not using it for some reason. And it's actually brand new. She bought it, but she did not use it. But it's brand new. It's around one year old. And so she told me that she's selling it. Okay, she's selling it. If I'm not mistaken, the price was 5,000 pesos. And so here's what I did. I told her that I'm going, to, I'm going to borrow the product and then sell it online. And then I just charge 6,500 pesos for it. Okay? So a friend of mine saw that post. He bought it at 6,500. I gave the 5,000 pesos to my sister and I got 1,500. Now the question is this. Did I shell out any capital? No. The product wasn't even mine. But my sister wanted to sell that product and my friend saw that product and he wanted to buy it because they, 
he finds it valuable, and so I earn money by just selling a product that is not mine. See? So that's just how easy it is, right? Like you can be, you can be resourceful. If you really want to make extra cash, whether it may be in sales or in business, you just have to be resourceful, okay? You just have to find ways that whatever it is that he or she needs, and if you can solve that problem, that there is a chance that you're going to earn money, right? So sell a product. That is tip number one. And tip number two is you can also sell your skills. So here's the truth, guys. Everybody has skills, right? You have, maybe you're a graphic designer, maybe you're a video editor, maybe you're good in Microsoft Excel, right? Maybe you're good in bookkeeping services, or maybe you're a good attorney. You can actually sell your service in exchange for money. So during the, during the times that you are unproductive, you can sell your skills so that you will earn money out of it and your time becomes money. That's what happened to us in the beginning. Even up to now, it's still happening, but in the beginning, a lot of people see the value of us speaking, speaking about financial literacy and business, and that is why people wanted to invite us because it's easily understood. When we explain things according to them, this is not according to us, it's easily understandable, right? The complex terminologies that the finance, uh, finance world is using, they are... They find it easy to understand when we explain it to them. And so because of it, we sell that kind of service, which is public speaking, and companies are hiring us to speak for their company about financial management, financial literacy, spe specifically for their staff, right? How do you budget? How do you save money? Where do you invest? What, what's an income statement? How do, you, how do you pay your debts and things like that, okay? So that's one of my skills, which is public speaking, but I'm not saying that that is the only skill that you can maximize, okay? We outsource our cleaning services for our, for our home office to someone else, right? When it comes to mopping the floor, sweeping the floor, and cleaning the house in general, the home office in general, we outsource that. So for that person, it's a skill. She actually knows how to clean it well, okay? Now, that is our weakness. So I needed her service. That is why she comes here, let's say, around once in every two weeks. Okay? We pay her to clean the home office. Right? It may be a simple thing, but it's actually a skill that she can maximize. Right? That is tip number two. Another one is you can also start a business. Now, here's the truth, guys. Just a little bit of a tri uh, trivia. If you really want to earn money fast, what I notice is that there are two ways, right? It's either you are in sales or you're going to start your own business, right? So sales or business. Now, when we talk about a business, it may be a traditional business wherein you're going to shell out capital and then you're going to sell a product, right? And then you have systems in, in, systems in place like marketing, sales, operations, and finance, that's the sell a business, uh, start a business part. You can also franchise if you have enough capital, or you can start with network marketing, which is also another form of business, or you can try out digital business or an online business like an e-commerce, right? Or you can also be a freelancer online. That's considered to be a self-employed business, but still it's a business. But the, at the end of the day is that you are generating more income because you want to generate more income, right? So those are the things that you can do. Just like what I said, it's very easy to understand. However, it's not easy to do. It requires hard work and discipline and patience. Sometimes in the beginning, you may feel like that it's, it's going nowhere, but eventually if you just keep on doing it and you are improving along the way, you're using your brain also, you're not just working hard, but you're also working smart, eventually you will go somewhere, okay? That's how we started. All the things we shared to you, like the three tips, you sell a product, you sell you, your skills, and start a business, we actually did this, okay? Just like what I mentioned, the present started as a side hustle. I was an employee. I was doing sales, operations, 
and logistics. I do not have an 8 to 5 job. Sometimes I wake up at 7 and end, end my day at around 10 or even 12 a.m. and still have to edit some videos and create some content for the present. So it was a side hustle, but on November 30, 2019, I decided to make it full-time. Why? Because we already have a lot of projects in place. So the side business became the main business. And because of that, we started another business, which is into the digital marketing agency. So we currently have two businesses, but the point is you can make a lot of things happen if you just work towards it and you're working hard and you're working smart. Going back to the mindset number one, you do not deserve what you want. You deserve what you do. Okay? So I really hope that this video added value to you in any way. If, this, if it does, right, or if it did, Feel free to click the like button and I would like to ask you a similar question that Danny St. Clair asked us, okay? So the question is, how can you increase your income stream? In your own opinion, what are the ways, creative ways as much as possible for us to increase our income stream, right? Let us know in the comment section and see you on the next video.